Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX Blind. In the last episode we did some stuff, we uh, basically fought uh, the giant tree and we fought a bandit named, I think it was his name was Red, who uh, helped us actually uh, retrieve a little, you know, item that was stolen from I Eco. Huh, which you can't find in the right words, eh? I was trying to apologize, but you still can't find the right words. Okay, you still you don't say anything different. Uh, Mark, is that you, Kubo? Yeah, that's that's Mark. Let's go inside see what how Eco is doing. Have you all been playing Super Mario Maker? I've been playing Super Mario Maker like all freaking day. She's been quiet the whole time. So now let me ask you something. My family told me to leave the village until my 16th birthday. But I want to go with you guys. I really do. <laughs> yeah, sure. Come along with us. Uh... Oh, grave. That's what you want to do? Nico, come with us. Forget about what your grandfather said. Doesn't matter what I say. You've already made up your mind, haven't you? Do you have something to say to her, Vivi? <laughs> Vivi? Huh? Me? Um, oh, these two are so cute. I ship it. <laughs> Remember what you taught me at the Eva tree? The Eva tree? You said I shouldn't ever lie to myself. I'll try to be more honest with my feelings. And you should too, too, Eco. Yeah. Never lie to yourself. I forgot my own advice, Vivi. Thanks. Aww. Aren't they just adorable? It'll be okay then, right, Sedan? Sure. <laughs> We've received the memory earring. Eco? I think Mark wants to talk to you. What does Mark have to say except for for Koopa Koopa Kopo? Koopa 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 Koop Koop Koopa She's not mad. I'm furious. <laughs> what do you want? What would you, what do you do if you run into trouble? Yeah. Oh well. Thank goodness we're both all right. That's nice to Mark, aren't you? Well, yeah, we're best friends after all. We're born on the same day and we'll always be together. It's our French. This is our friendship ribbon. Mark gave it to me. Mark, do you have the ribbon I gave you? Kupo! <laughs> He's just holding it. <laughs> He's not wearing it. This one's too big for her now, but once we're more sophisticated ladies, we'll wear them together. Yeah, sure. I didn't actually know Mark was a girl, but whatever. <laughs> sophisticated lady. Maybe then Sedan will talk, dance with me. Sedan? Sedan? <sighs> I didn't know Mark was a girl yet. Yeah, that's what I said. <sighs> I wonder where Claire went. Let's go look for her then. Are you saying something new? Same day, but Eco's first. Maybe that's why Eco always has been the bigger sister. It's maybe also because she's generally just bigger and she's also a human. I also rested twice because I already rested before, but apparently I rested twice. Oh well. Um, let's go look for Claire. But yeah. And of course that she can talk English. Wait, what? I can hear a song. Claire? I'm down there. Claire, are you there? It on. That's okay, keep singing. Cause it's our song, right? Your song? I'm surprised you found this place. Got talent to be a bandit. How about you and me team up? We can call ourselves the betrothed. Give it up, Sedan. <laughs> my my talent's up to snuff, but that name isn't. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> <laughs> You're really something these days. If I am, I must get out the news for you. Yeah, these two learn from each other. Even though Sedan doesn't learn to give up. <laughs> it's all because you made the effort to learn. No, it's because you stuck with me. Oh, that's for her friends. Without you, I couldn't have made it to Limlum. Much less seen the whole new continent. 
Everything I tried to do on my own was a total failure. I couldn't stop my mother. Well, it's not really your fault what your mother does. At times I almost lost hope. And you helped me so much. And not just to you either. Yeah, Vivi and Eiko helped out at the life tree. Quinna was really helpful when we left the continent. Was she? Was Quinna ever helpful? Freya, Steiner, and even Beatrix when I thought who I thought was her enemy. <laughs> but sometimes I just can't. Yeah. We want to believe that everything is going to be alright. But you know, we live in pretty good times, but still. Hopes of everyone who has helped me. You don't have to feel responsible, Claire. No, people make their own choices. And you have to make yours. Nobody wants to feel you that way. They didn't do it all for you. Each was following his own path. Like I said, people make their own choices. Their own... What about you? Huh? Why did you come with me? Hmm. That's Ibsen's line. Ibsen? Who's that? <laughs> oh, that's, that's what's exactly what I said. Ibsen is a character from a play, but he's a real-life adventurer. I think the play is based on his adventures. Kind of goes like this. Ibsen and his friend, Colin, worked at the tavern in Trina. One day, Ibsen got a letter. The letter was so wet from the rain that most of the writing was illegible. Uh, not readable, you mean? The only part he could read said, come back home. Nowadays, we have airships and stuff, but back then, it was really hard to travel. He didn't know why he had to go back, but he had some time off, gathering his things and set out on his adventure home. He walked a thousand leagues through the mist. Sometimes he was attacked by vicious monsters, but he made it because his friend Colin was by his side. And then, after much time on the road, he had to ask Colin something. Why did you come with me? And what was Colin's answer? Only because I wanted to go with you. Ah, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I think Sidon really just wanted to go on an adventure. To see more of the world. He's like a wild spirit, a free spirit. Chasing all the ladies. Sidon. I... What is it, Claire? Do you want to say that you love me? Can you hear the song? Wait, song? Huh? Yeah, it's that song. How come? Who's singing it? It's Eco, isn't it? The sunset makes the Idolan wall look like it's on fire. I've seen this somewhere before. <laughs> what? Where? Here, right? Whoa. Evil Eye. A city. And devastation. Is that how this city got wrecked? By... an Idola? And a ship, and a young, and two girls that look exactly like each other. That, that evil eye, man. We now know what that is. It's like an Idolon, like the one that uh, Queen Braun used. Claire. Claire, wake up! God, she fainted. That was the opening cutscene, by the way, those. Fast Vivi, those two. He's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. The two people in the storm. Well? I have no memory of my early childhood. You don't have any memory at all? But you're the princess, right? You Didn't you grow up in uh, wherever you are? 
never really thought about it. Besides, nobody ever told me. I was raised in Alexandria, but only from the age of six or so. Six? So where were you until then? Until then? Until I turned six? I must have been here, in the Dane Sari. So you were raised here? You were born here? That does make sense, because you do have those uh, summoning powers. Shrouded in fog. <laughs> well, we don't always remember everything from our past. I mean, do you remember when you were like six or something? <laughs> Hit the village, yeah, and that's uh, how this village got destroyed. The true mother on a little boat far from the village. So that other girl, so the young girl that was you, and the other girl that looked exactly like you was your mother. In the opening cutscene, eh? That's the cove behind Aiko's house, right? The boat I was on was just like that one there. So the boat we were just on? You mean? It all came back to me when I heard that song in the boat. The song that's playing right now. The song is from Medin Sari, so that's why nobody else knows it. Uh, yeah, indeed. But by boat, probably. Now did you get to be the princess? And why doesn't she have a summer's horn? What, a summer's horn? Maybe because Dr. Todd, maybe Dr. Todd can tell me. About the lady who protected me from the storm as the boat lurched about in the waves. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably a mother, though. I don't really know who else it could be. My apologies to the mother who died on that boat. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I just said. The woman she thought was her mother became someone else. And her true mother was already dead. Claire has lost two mothers. Well, C Queen Braun is not dead, but just insane. Hmm. Pray every day here? Today Dolans? Yeah. <laughs> you start to remember because you came back here to this destroyed city. Or these ruins, actually, to be in more like, like, it's not really a city anymore. It's more like ancient ruins at this point. What? I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> yep, I made up my mind. Sudan, Claire. I'm going with you. I'll be breaking my promise to Grandpa, but I want to go. Besides, Grandpa always told me to be honest with myself. <laughs> I don't know what the future holds, but I want to finish what I came here for. So do I. Let's all go together. Let's all go together. I don't really know how that song goes, but... Not what the lyrics of the song were. That that kind of shows my age right there. <laughs> because that's like a early 90s song, I think. Or a 90s song, at least. Or is that 2000? I don't really know. Se seems like 90s to me, like that cheesy. Defeat Kucha and return to Alexandria. Well, we're only on this too, so it's a little bit e early to defeat Kucha. Oh, nothing. My face is always like this. Oh, you don't want your girlfriend to go? And Monk's coming too. Monk! What, what is your ability? We already have, like, uh, a, a Moogle that uh, can basically save everything. And I really have not used the Chocobo, or I have not really had any need for the Chocobo so far, so... Now don't forget that you always have a home in Mad and Seri. Don't let our memory become a burden. You must always be light-hearted and free. Well, <laughs> thoughts of the eternal wall will always lift your heart. It's just a wall, dude. It's just a wall. Even though it has depictions of summoning spirits, it's still just a wall. What now? You want some more? The victor lives. The, the defeated die. You know the rules. 
Your actions yesterday were incomprehensible to me. Tell me, why didn't you kill me? Well, that's a tough question. Are you really unhappy that I let you live? <laughs> well, you can't always have a dude. You are a warrior, man. Then, then live as a warrior. I mean, just because you lost one battle doesn't mean you're no longer a warrior. It, doesn't, it just means that today was not your day to die. I said someone like you. We're hunting a man down. Indeed. Kuja. <laughs> his only consonant is his unpredictability. Um, his other consonant is all that he goes after every young lady. Uh, mostly Claire, though. <laughs> What's your name? Call me what you will. Hmm. Lanny called you Red, right? Amaranth. Okay. Amaranth. Amaranth. I'm not going to call you Red. I'm just going to kill you Amaranth. Some call me the Flaming Amaranth. Well, do you use fire? Well, fine. We'll call you Amaranth. The more the merrier. Let's decide our marching order. Oh, now we can get finally get to pick our party members. Now we have like five party members, and we get to pick one. I'm actually gonna bring Amaranth. Um, I'm gonna bring Eco because Eco can use uh, Cura, where Claire can't. Um, even though and Claire only has one summon at this point, one summon item at this point. Um, later on I will probably uh, switch back to Claire. Alright, we'll do fine. Just follow me. Next up, Dia Ifa Tree. And I think I actually gonna to just meet you over there. Um, I'm going to equip some things to uh, Amorin over here. Let's see what he asked. Beast killer antibody. Um, actually, wait one moment. Um, which one was it? Is it the, the Brigand? That one. Yeah, I want to g give you ability up. Uh, for the rest... Um, it's not really important. A lot plus 10% HP. Uh, everyone has everything else. Uh, okay then. In the next episode of uh, Final Fantasy IX. I almost wanted to say Fire Emblem. I don't know why. But in the next episode of Final Fantasy IX. We'll go and meet you back at the uh, the Ifa tree. And maybe at that point we'll, we'll you know, again meet um, our main foe. And hopefully then... That's the end of the disc, I, I don't know. It seems to me like that every disc is like 25 parts, but who knows? Maybe this disc is longer. We will see. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until then, goodbye.